This is the summary for lesson two, keeping the equation balanced. And so we've been using these hangers to um, visualize equations being balanced or what happens when you keep an equation balanced or you keep the hanger balanced. Now the hanger can be balanced, has the same weight on each side, or it can be unbalanced or not balanced. And that means that you have a, a more weight on one side and less weight on the other side. So it will tilt towards the side that has more weight, in this case to the left, or it will tilt to the right if the right side has more weight. So in this case, you have three Bs or three triangles on the left that is heavier, that's greater than one B or one triangle on the right side. And to read this greater than symbol, remember that it opens towards the greater amount. So it's opening towards the three B and it points towards the lesser amount. And you read it from the left to the right. So this is read as three B is greater than one B or 3b is equal to 3b. And finally, 1b is less than 3b. Now notice once again that the inequality symbol, the less than symbol, opens towards the greater amount, the 3b in this case, and it points to the lesser amount, 1b. And it's read once again from the left to the right. So 1b is less than 3b. So greater than equal to and less than. And now we can start to move towards equations, use the hanger as a, as a way to visualize what's going on with an equation. So we're gonna call the triangles A's, I'm sorry, we're gonna call the blue square A and the triangles B. So there's two triangles, so that's two B and five triangles, so that's five B. So we have 1a plus 2b equals 5b. And I'm going to keep the 1 here with the a to tell you that that's just a 1a. Um, it's usually not written there. It's understood that if, if there's no number there, it's just one of those a's. But just to make it clear, I'm going to write it. And that number that's next to the unknown or the variable or the letter, that number is called the coefficient. It goes along with the variable, so it's co to that, so it's co-efficient. I think it comes from variables are efficient ways to write mathematics, or unknowns are efficient ways to write mathematics, and so the number is the co-efficient. And I can also split the 5b into a group of 3b's, or three triangles, and a group of 2b's, or two triangles. So three triangles, or two triangles. And now I can see, I can visualize taking away the same amount from each side and it's going to remain balanced. It's going to stay balanced. And so if I have 2b and I subtract the 2b away and I have 2b on this side and I subtract that 2b away, I'm left with 1a equals 3b. And now you can just write that as a equals 3b. So here a equals 3b. So the balanced hanger, it can add or remove the same amount, which is the weight from each side, and that will result in the hanger continuing to be balanced. So we start with it balanced and we end with it balanced. But it's just simpler now. And actually we're finding an answer, a solution, that a equals 3b. So in the equation, we can add or subtract the same amount, the same value from each side, and keep that equation balanced. It maintains this equality, which is the same as keeping it balanced. Now, if 1a equals 3b, what's the value of b? So what's the value of one of these triangles? Can you see that you can divide this blue square up into three equal parts? And so one of those parts is going to be one third of that blue square, or one third of a. So b is equal to one third of a. It's a little bit going beyond what the summary tells you, but we're going to get there um, soon. So a equals 3b, or b equals one-third of a. One triangle equals one-third of that blue square.